Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Rim World. We're picking up where we left off again. Um, oh, looks like a group of mechanoids from a mechanoid hive have arrived nearby. They are attacking immediately. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Okay, just a couple of little ones, so that's not too bad of a problem. Um, with a charge lance, two with a charge lance, and I should imagine they are going to be heading down here. So we have a little bit of time to get organized. Not too big a problem. If it was the centipedes, I'd be panicking right now because we're not ready for them. But I think we've got off a little bit lucky there, so let's let things carry on as normal until the attack actually starts. Just gotta hope and make sure that uh, nobody leaves the building for a bit. And here come the guys. Right, who have we got that can uh, fight? Tigress, what state are you in? You need to eat. Um, but you'll do for a little bit. And you have the big gun. John, what state are you in? You're not a bad shot. You've got the Uzi. You're also leaving the building, so let's get you onto defense as well. And Grumpy, you're working on food, that's important. You're hauling, you're hauling, you're eating. Right, Jono, after you've eaten, then you can start, uh, um, you can join in the defense as well. So let's just uh, slow this down a little bit and see where we go. Right, here come them. That door's going to slow them down a little while while we get organized. Barrow, where are you going? You Barrow, I'm afraid you can't leave. What are you stone cutting? Oh, you... oh dear. Okay. Barrow, you can join the draft. Actually, undraft you. Can you not cut that tree? Hold on a sec. Orders. Chop wood. Let's get that tree out of the way. And then a third person going to join the fence. So, Barrow, if you can, yep, cut down that tree for me. There you go. And here comes the fight. Gumpy, what stage are you in? You walked out of here to walk back in and harvest a potato plant. That's very unusual. Tara, how are you doing? Okay, Tara, you're in on the draft as well. You can come out here and join in the fight. Let's get a few other people. In fact, let's do a general organization of people now. Okay, so you're all drafted. You'll get in here. Actually, let's uh, get you a bit further away. You'll get in here. That's it. Ichabod, you stand. Hmm. My right mouse, right mouse button doesn't seem to be working at the moment. Ichabod, you stand here. Jono, you stand here. Excellent. Good, you got rid of that one. And you guys come up here and join in the fight a little bit. Tara, you too. Barrow, get that tree down for me, that's good. You three into the building well wow, that went a little bit weird didn't it okay job's done jolly good untraft you guys let's unforbid these ones and let's get back to work we're going to need someone to build a new door or two but so all in all that was not too bad so we'll have a power door there and we'll have a power door there thank you very much all right let's speed things up and let them get on with it and they're dumping it outside all right good okay um, it does highlight the need for proper defenses here we don't really have them but I want to get this internal bit done first 
and then we'll worry about uh, getting outside stuff done and while I'm thinking about that actually let's do let's order a bit of mining as well get some of this stuff done and I think we can get away with that one and I know we can get away with that one and actually while I'm thinking about it let's get some doors in here as well so we'll have some doors there and we'll have another door there to balance things out and John, yeah well done John, get rid of the corpses like that, that's wonderful that's gonna make everyone a bit happier and soon that, that stone is going to be cleared so that stone cutting is not going to force people to walk outside the building which is good a roof has collapsed because it was too far away from the support I was a little bit worried about that okay right so first things first let's cancel some mining orders here let's cancel that one hold on a sec let's actually hit the cancel button that one that one and that one we'll just do in behind it and we will structure um, let's have our first stone wall so what to do is we'll just put a little column in the middle there and we'll build the uh, the area around it and once that's built we can finish off mining that out yeah that's not bad uh, slave trader has left comms range we don't mind that do we? yeah we have a little bit of wood it would be nice if someone could finish off building that wall but while we're waiting for that actually let's get some of this mined out as well that should be alright and we shall also get this stuff hauled out because doesn't make for a nice building really does it right once this stuff is built out I'm going to start to start looking at defenses and I think the defensive area in fact let's go back and start drawing some plans I want the defensive area to be here right, so the idea here is that people will come in through this courtyard and hold on mental break what's up Jono what's the matter with you dear boy and where are you Jono you're in bed what's up with you needs uh, thoughts you're hungry there you go that'll sort you out all right where were we okay we were drawing some plans so we're gonna have a a boxed off area like this if, where was where's my plans where's my plans here's my plans so we'll have a boxed off area like this and the entrance will be here machining okay that's a useful one research I think it's time we start uh, I think it's time we started looking at shipbuilding so let's start the shipbuilding research off right where were we yes we were going to have a defensive box here and behind it will be turrets I won't draw them all because that will take forever but the idea is that this air box here apart from say a doorway here will be completely surrounded by turrets and anyone coming in will basically be walking into the firing range of an awful lot of uh, uh, stuff we'll move the drop beaking inside here and actually make an effort to uh, roof off as much of this area as possible to make it hard for people to come in but certainly the other we'll we'll put a stone wall here which will force people to come in this way as well if they drop in here for example right a solar fair has par uh, has happened that's not particularly great but it's not the end of the world either how are we getting on okay we've done a lot of mining here our jail is almost done our wall isn't done which is disappointing who's building at the moment is anyone building I don't believe anyone's building so let's see where we are with construction okay Galga is our construction 
Lead, where are you, and what are you doing? You are hauling to stone wall. Okay, you are building. Jolly good. And I think, actually, we could use a bit more work on construction at the moment. So, Ichabod, what are you doing? Uh, you are you do repairing, you do researching. Okay, so we're not going to actually get you involved in construction at all. Um, John, you are hunting. You don't particularly like um, construction, but we don't have that many people who do. So I think you're going to get the job. So we'll make that a two. So if you're not hunting, you'll construct. We'll make crafting a three. Which is a shame because you're actually a good crafter, but uh, we have two of them and only one builder. And I think we could use some more building and that'll help us out a bit there. Good. Tara, where are you off to? You're hauling metal to stockpile one. Where's the metal? Oh, good lord. Oh, I hope you brought a packed lunch with you. That's a bit of a walk. So, okay, how are we getting on in here? Very hard to see because... We have no lights at the moment. Yay! Mental break soon. Tigress, what's up with you? Thoughts? Urgently hungry and you're in bed. Just eat some squirrel meat. That'll make you feel a little bit better. They're an industrial trader. Barrow, what state are you in? Okay, you're in a good you're in a pretty good state, so Oh, we can't use because of the solar flare, never mind. Uh, right, we have food traders and industrial traders passing by. Shipbuilding basics, research screen. Okay, that's the bits needed to make the ship. And what do we want at the moment? Okay, given our future plans, let's have some gun cooling. And let's have an oh dear. Right, a group of pilots from the grey sledgehammers have arrived nearby. Looks like they want to besiege the colony. Well, this looks like the episode where we get attacked lots. Right. Okay. We have lots going on here. Grumpy, what are you up to? Right, I think I'm actually going to have to start forbidding hauling a little bit. But, um, right. First things first. Let's get ourselves some mortars built. Right, so we shall have one, two, three. Don't know if they need power. We'll find out soon enough. Who's our builders? Um, Galga and John. So Galga, where are you? Galga, you're building indoors, but now I want you to build outdoors. Sorry about that. Prioritize working on that, would you? And John, you're building smooth stone. That'd be great, but let's have you working on that mortar instead. There we go. And let's see what these guys are up to while we're at it. Okay, that's going to make it very hard for us to snipe them. they got loads of food there. But there's a few of them, so that'll last a while. Food trader passing by, food trader passing by, not really much help to us. Okay. Mental break soon. What's up with you, Grumpy? What's your problems? Thoughts? Hurry, hung urgently hungry, very tired. Go and eat something. There's food on this table here, but nobody's eating it. So that's starting to bother me. Oh well, never mind. They want to eat berries. Who am I to stop them? Okay, there's a. Um, there is a mortar already committed. So, let's draft you. Man the mortar. And let's have a quick look at the mortar. Don't know what these do. I've never used a mortar before, so I think I'm just going to leave it like that for a minute. And we'll see what happens. I should, I should think that somebody is going to automatically attack, but we'll see in a moment. 
But I have just noticed we can finish off the mining orders here. So let's get that put in. Orders, mine. And then basically we've got that room that we can set up. This room we can set up. And there's another mortar fix there. Fix there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Who is a good shot? Tigress, what are you doing? You're sleeping, okay. All right. Who is in a good way? Um, I think we'll grab Gumpy when he gets up because he's he'll have a nice nice night's sleep then. So what's happening with this mortar? It's counting down. Let's see how good a shot you are. Hmm. Did that do anything? I do not believe that did anything. Right, that said, oh, yes it did. Um, miss. Uh, yeah, they're building themselves lots of mortars. Uh, they don't seem to be doing much harm at the moment, which is good. Gumpy, what are you up to? Right, you're just hauling, so how about you man this? How about you man this mortar? There we go. Let's get two of them on the go. And hopefully we'll have a third one built soon. Nice thing here is that we've got a, a little target to shoot at and they've got a massive one so it looks like they're not really going to be that great somebody put that fire out well done good this is all coming together John if you finish that you can man it afterwards and actually let's just see Barrow I actually think you need a break Gumpy what stage are you in you're alright for a bit Tigress what are you doing you're just hauling so you can oh, actually what state you're in your pretty good state you can man this mortar for it let's keep them going and unfortunately things are going to slow down now because we're being mortared to bits uh, oh looks like we've done some damage over there we've got a lot of their food yes Well, all told, this is turning out all right. They seem to just want to boom, bomb our kitchen, which is not really a problem. Tara, you're cooking. I don't want you disturbed. Jono, you're holding silver. That can wait. What state are you in? Ah, uh, you need some rest. Okay. Who have we got? Galga needs... Okay, you're in a good state. Let's have you on this last mortar and we've got two manned mortars one woman mortar what more do we need there we go let's watch them go that looks like that one missed that one's really gonna miss don't like the fact that they oh I see they're trying to shoot Barrow as he's running around oh that's good that's excellent. That's going to make things a lot easier. Because we're just shooting at them. And it's very hard, I would think, to shoot someone who's running around. So that's good for us. Gumpy, how are you doing? Okay, time for you to uh, go get a break. And we'll grab someone else when they're awake. John or Jono will do. Don't break soon. Barrow, where are you? What's up with you? You can good state that way. Eight off the ground, ugly environment. Oh, you'll be alright, you're just moaning. Okay. 
And there's no reason for you to eat off the ground. There's no reason for you to, well, the ugly environment we've got to deal with, but we're working on it. Um, just look at Tara here. Here she is running around. No complaints from her. Uh, you're a bit uh, tired. You're a bit tired. Let's get you both off of these. You guys go and have breaks. Jono, what are you up to? You can take over one of these mortars. And who else have we got? John, what are you up to? You're in a good state. Let's have you as well. So far, we're not getting much damage. They, on the other hand, are. Oh, they're out of. Well, almost out of mortars. And they're almost out of food. That'll help. Okay, what else? Slag refining appeals to me. Right, there we go. Let's have a look and see what state our colony is in. Okay, so this is organized. Let's get it a bit better organized, shall we? So let's put in some building orders. So let's have a door there. Cut the power doors there. We don't need these anymore. And before we do anything else, I want that floor sorted out. And that's under floors, funnily enough. And let's have a nice carpet, shall we? Let's have a nice green carpet. That'll just make everyone happier. It'll use up a lot of metal, but there's a lot of metal floating around. So that shouldn't really be a problem. In fact, it might be good for us to start thinking about doing some more mining, which we'll, uh, we'll think of later on. So that's that area there. And then we can start moving the kitchen stuff in here. And we also need to refit this out as the prison. That's nearly done. These floors still need tidying up. And it'd be good if we could get a power cable around here just to complete the circuits. In fact, I think we do have a power cable around there. So let's do a little bit more there as well. So um, we want power. We want a power conduit. Oh, there's one in there already. That's OK. So what we actually want is furniture. Let's get, let's get some lamps in here to pretty this bit up. One there. Let's have one there. Let's have one there. Let's have one there as well. That'll make that area a bit nicer. Make everyone a bit happier. John, how are you doing? Okay, it's now time for you to have a break. I should imagine you too, Jono. Yep. Right, let's have a quick look at them. Right, they still have... You know what? Actually, I think we're just going to leave them now because these guys are starting to starve. And I basically just want my guys to get on with things. They'll either give up or they'll attack and we'll deal with them then. So, as far as I'm concerned, that is done for now. The big problem we're going to have now is all our haulers running around, so we're going to need to keep an eye on them if attacks happen. On the other hand, we're getting sorts of yummy resources in, which is always good. A food trader is passing by, not really interested. Oh, some dead muffalo here. Haven't been dead for very long by the looks of them. Well, after the siege is gone, I'll try to remember to pick them up. But, okay, that siege has gone on a little bit more than 20 minutes, so I'm going to call it a day now. I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I certainly did. I've been Simon Parsons. This has been The Rim World. Thank you, and good night.